so welcome to my class in continuation with unit 2 we are doing collection and we finished with rather collection we finished with organization and presentation we are doing graphical presentation of data and today we're going to talk about the false baseline now look at this there is something that is shown with a kink or with a gap here for the y-axis values and here for the x-axis we made a kink or sometimes we just break it up so after all what is this what is the use of like what do you mean that the use of false baseline what is it now if the values in the series are very large and the difference between the smallest value and the zero is high and if the values are to be indicated on the y-axis of the graph then y-axis is started somewhere above this point O. Okay. So, so here we can. So, this is what it is. For example, if the value is 0 and the other value is too much, say about 20,000. So, instead of showing 1, 2, 3, 4, I mean, it will be a, it will be very difficult to draw that curve and it won't even look good. So, in order to overcome the difficulty, we show it by a cut or a kink on the y-axis, like we've seen here. And on the other hand, just look at here. If there the these values are to be indicated on the x-axis, and the after the zero, the value is very, the the difference between the two is huge, then we uh, we cut or kink is marked on the x-axis. And then after after that, you one marks the the values in the same manner in the manner as we've studied. Okay, so this is what it is. Uh, that's the false baseline that we were talking about. So now, so what's why? Why do you think that we need? Uh, why do we need we uh, we need a false baseline? What is what is the reason? What is the reason for a false baseline? That is, when the values are very high, then it's time that what we start doing is we uh, make sure that... Okay, I'll just uh, let you know. So as we mentioned earlier, the basic rule. What is the basic rule? by constructing graphs is that the scale on the y-axis should start with 0 even if the gap between 0 and the smaller value is large. If this rule is strictly followed, what will the curve look like? Very much pulled away from the point of origin. Okay. So, so we, we sometimes draw these zigzag horizontal lines. Now, if you can, you can have a look here. Please look here. For example, we have on the OX axis are the years given and on the OY is the production. Now the production itself begins from say 10,000. Okay, this is my pen gone off too. So, alright, so here, here's the pen. So, for example, in 2011, production was here. In 2012, it was uh, 12,000. In 2013, also, it was around, say, a little more than that. 2014, it was 16,000. And 2015, it was 18,000. That's how you join this and you get some curve looking like that. But, it, but just imagine, zero, this, in the first value itself starts from 10,000. So this is how, this is how the curve will be depicted and in order to show that the difference between 0 and 10,000 is immense, so for that we, we have broken the y-axis. So this is known as a false baseline and that is the importance of a false baseline. I hope it's clear and you can get a question as what do you mean by a false baseline? And what is the importance of a false baseline?